Anthony LaRue over the ball. And now we are underway with Henri on the first touch. Claire Emsley, Scottish International on the move. Emsley in the box, sends it across, and it was flipped over. McCaskill applauded that effort. It's going to be a corner. Season. Vignola sending it into the box, and a true bounce to Dickey. Saw Vignola score for a tough angle in the last game. Waiting for those inside lateral touches from Emsley, Ooh. from a Camberos, to set them up for a goal scoring position. Oh, fish lock. Saw the goalkeeper off the line, but what a ball from Rapino. It's announced this week for September and early October. Into the box it comes. Played over and then sent high and wide by Camberos. Turns it back. Right side, Emsley. The cross into the box. That's off McCaskill. Came around on it and sent it high and wide. Emsley. Edge of the box. It's deflected in front. Wow. Had LaRue gotten a touch on that, probably nothing Dickey could have done to stop it. This is a really good sequence from Angel City. Started in their defensive third. Dealt with the high press of O.L. Reign through quick combinations. Wriggling out of pressure off the dribble. Continued their attack from the counter press. Emsley gets squared up against McLaren. And it takes a deflection off of Son. It falls kindly for Sidney LaRue. Just can't connect on it. Inches away. Fishlock. Puerta. Into the box. Anderson grabbed it in traffic. Nicely done. Well, Fishlock has Rapino open. Left side, Rapino into the box. The shot taken. And she put it on top of the net. The Let's go into the box. And off the post, it looked like. Here's Fishlock cleared off the line. That was Nielsen saving the day. Back position, but this is heroics from Paige Nielsen. It's Latsko gets her head up in that advanced position. Angie Anderson can't put this one around the post, and Nielsen just so intelligently drops to the lines, gets squared up in a body shape that she can see the ball and clear it as well. Angel City wins this game. Here is Rapino shooting it, and that's off Anderson. Good save. First big save of this game for either goalkeeper. And Angel City just have to be a bit more careful, meticulous in their build-out. They're playing directly into the hands of O.L. Reign in their pressing traps. Megan Rapino picks the pocket of Sarah Gordon. Progressive, aggressive, first touches toward goal. Angel City can't get quite enough pressure on the ball. And Megan Rapino just so wisely. 64th minute, Rose LaBelle is coming on. She started on September 3rd versus Orlando, played 85 minutes. Didn't even dress again until last Sunday. Crowd loves her. This ovation is for Rose. Happy to see her. Quinn comes out. It's an offensive-minded change. And I'm excited about this because now that means Rose LaBelle is going to go in the 10, push Jess Fishlock back into more of a roaming eight with Emily Sonnet, providing a little bit more of that defensive stability. Um. Rapino with the strike and it's over the bar. But she won. Rose LaBelle. Looking. Shooting. Tipped over by Anderson. It was there for Rose. Big save. And Rose LaBelle just getting underneath to get possession here. Breaks out off the dribble. Tons of space in front of the back line. No one steps to her, decides to go up for a little bit of momentum going O.L. Wayne's way. Into the box again. Headed down. Up Anderson and in. O.L. Wayne lead. Let's go is in the middle of that. And O.L. Reign putting on a show for their supporters at home at Lumen Field. Again, creating through these wide channels. Lou Barnes gets it out to Phoebe McLaren, who gets her head up, sees the run of Latsko, who times her run 
perfectly to meet this ball with pace, redirects it between Vignola and Nielsen, past Ange Anderson, and gives O.L. Reign the late lead, but it is a well-timed run, attacks it, times it perfectly, places it past two. Locked. Angel City have to get it forward on Renew It, but that's it. Game over. All Reign advances.